Dr. Ann Riel, thank you so much for joining us here on Health Connection. Real pleasure to have you. Our topic is what is a podiatrist? It's a medical specialty. A lot of people aren't familiar with it. What is a podiatrist? Well, any doctor is, can, can treat a foot problem, but a podiatrist is specifically trained to treat foot problems. That is what we focus on, and that's where our specialty is. What are the qualifications of a podiatrist and, uh, and a doctor of podiatric medicine, and how is it different from being an MD? Well, we go to four years of undergraduate education, followed by four years of medical school. And the second two years of our medical school training, we actually start dealing with surgical intervention, surgical training, and uh, specifically with the foot. Uh, then we further increase our, our knowledge and our hands-on skills in three to four years of podiatry residency. And this, I think, gives us an advantage over the other doctors because that's what we focus on. What are the common reasons a patient should see a podiatrist? Well, any pain in your foot that's just not going away after a couple days, um, it's better, in my opinion, to have it looked at because sometimes you don't know the difference between something that might be short-term and go away or something that might be a lifelong problem. And sometimes the longer you wait to actually fix a problem, the uh, longer it takes to actually right. solve the problem. Recent news stories said that three out of four Americans have had a foot problem, but only one in three have seen a podiatrist for treatment. Why is it important to see a podiatrist at the first sign of trouble with your feet? Well, the first sign of trouble can be an indicator that something's wrong. And, and like anything else, you want to get to it before it reaches a point where there isn't an easy cure or an easy fix to the problem. Why do diabetics have problems with their feet and why are diabetic foot problems so dangerous? Well, with diabetics, they tend not to heal so well because like, uh, well, diabetes is an, basically an autoimmune disease. Their body cannot deal with um, or fight off pathogens as you and I can. Um, Actually, in their cases, if they're not controlling their blood sugars, it can affect every organ system in their body, from their eyes down to their feet. Sometimes that high blood sugar level will actually attack, starting in your feet, the nerve endings, leading to numbness, burning, tingling, uh, problems like that. It's an indicator that something's wrong. So if you have these symptoms and you haven't seen a doctor or a podiatrist, it might be an indication that you might need to do something. When they don't feel so well, they're more prone to injuries to their foot, not even know it. And when they have these injuries, they just start compounding over time, and then their body can't fight it off. And it, end up, it can end up being a, a life-changing experience in that you can end up with a permanent deformity or disfigurement. Let's talk about some of the more common problems with feet. You know, what comes to mind? Bunions, ingrown toenails. What causes these things and how do you treat them? Well, in the case of a bunion, it's basically an imbalance of the foot. You'll see a majority of patients who have usually a flat foot, uh, in which case the tendons that balance the big toe joint, there's one on either side and it's pulling, either pulling the toe one way or the other. In a normal foot that has a normal arch, the uh, tendons are very normally balanced. However, when in a flat foot, it, they, it allows one of those tendons to gain an advantage and it starts pulling the toe over. So some people say, oh no, I have this uh, bump that's growing on the side of my foot. Um, you know, what is it? And um, typically that's the bone right in behind the toe, which would be a bone in this area of the foot that starts to shift over. And that imbalance causes the bunion. And those can be surgically treated. Uh, if caught early enough, sometimes even an orthotic in the shoe, which is uh, a means of supporting the arch, can keep that from becoming worse. Ingrown toenails, what about them? See a lot of those. Some are self-inflicted. Some come from like pedicures, getting in pedi a pedicure when someone decides they're going to dig in and try to get a painful ingrown toenail out and can't quite get it all out. Or sometimes it can be um, improper shoe gear which pushes on the side of the toe or and sometimes in kids that are growing, uh, they don't realize that their feet are growing so fast and their shoes are too small and all of a sudden they'll get red and hot and swollen on the side of their toe. And sometimes there's a simple little procedure we can do in the clinic and uh, remove that toenail so that's not so painful anymore. Recently I saw an article, I read an article, it was quoted an article of uh, Sarah Jessica Parker who was quoted talking about her experience on Sex in the City and she said shooting that show and having to be dressed up all the time, they said the high heels ruined her feet. Let's talk about those kinds of shoes, high heels and flip-flops, dangers attendant to both. Well, <laughs> 
That is a good one. Good high heels are pretty good for our business. Um, the high heel pointed toe shoes can be pretty severe to a, a foot. Um, and one another cause of a bunion is actually shoving the toe over, which can be symptomatic of high he a high heeled shoe. Um, Another, another uh, problem that we see uh, quite often with the high heel shoes are neuromas. Neuroma is an enlargement of the nerve that as it runs in between the long bones of the foot and then separates to go to each toe. It's what gives you your feeling in your toes. Um, when you have that high heel, it just puts all the pressure of your body and all the force right on the ball of your foot. And this can cause inflammation over time of that nerve. And they'll often complain of numbness or feel like they're walking on a rolled up sock or a ball in their shoe. And uh, this can be kind of difficult uh, to deal with at times until you get, get it looked at. And sometimes the problem can be simply taken care of with an injection or anti-inflammatories, and usually with change in shoe gear. Some people are willing to do it, some people are not. The other extreme from high heels, flip-flops. Let's talk about those. Flip-flops can be dangerous. Um, I've seen people who um, have a, a, a flip-flop is basically nothing more than a foam, a foam uh, pad with, um, with a band that goes around, around the toes. And when, that ha when you use those, any kind of foot problem you have is actually magnified because wherever you put your pressure, it just wears out on that side of the flip-flop. Not to mention it doesn't give you any structural support. And I've had patients who have tripped over them and broken some of the long bones in their legs and had to have quite a bit of surgery to fix, to fix those bones. Um, I've had people who've ridden bicycles or even motorcycles wearing flip-flops and when you fall off of a motorcycle with a flip-flop on it can be very disastrous. So how do you select the right shoes for walking, exercising, doing your job? Well I'll first tell you what I ta tell my patients and I give to them in writing. There's a good way to get your shoes. It's better to buy your shoes at the end of the day because your feet are always a little bit larger at the end of the day. Everybody swells, whether you're a child or an adult. So if you buy the shoes at the end of the day, they'll fit a little looser in the morning, but by the end of the day, they'll fit just fine. They won't be too tight. I always say to be able to get your finger between the tip of your longest toe and the shoe. That gives you enough room to, not, to where your toes don't hit the tip of the shoe. And when, and when you feel the sides of the shoe as compared to how it presses along your toes, you should feel the, toe, the shoe touching the sides of your foot, but not pressing. You should slightly be able to separate your toes in the, in the shoe as well. Um, as far as walking and running, uh, probably my two most favorite pair of shoes are Asics and New Balance. I think they have very good structure for the shoes. I think they um, provide enough support and shock absorption to keep you from causing uh, damage. And, and in, uh, in my opinion, I, I think those are the best ways to uh, uh, keep yourself from getting hurt. Advances in your specialty. Let's talk about some of the new approaches to foot care and how podiatrists are helping people get back on their feet. Well, with all the, the advances today, uh, and I'll pick a hammer toe, for instance. Uh, sometimes when we pick a hammer, when we correct a hammer toe, a hammer toe is very, is very contracted toe, and some people state it gets very painful and it rubs and it limits the amount of shoes that they can wear and it limits their activities because it's always rubbing. Well, when we would go fix those, in, in the past we'd use something like a K-wire, which is a long wire that would pass out the tip of the toe and all the way back into the foot and hold that toe in a good position while we corrected it. And it would typically stay in for about six weeks. Now I've gotten uh, a new device that I can actually implant in the toe. It does not stick out the end of the toe, so I don't have to worry about infections along that opening in the, in the toe after surgery, and it fuses the toe immediately. Someone has a persistent foot problem, what's the next step? The next step is to call your foot doctor. It's always a good thing to get something looked at before there's a, a larger problem. Sometimes it can be very simple if it's caught quickly and, and as in the case of some people who have heel pain, when they get up in the morning they, they state that the first step is so painful uh, or after they've been on their feet for a while and um, in these cases the earlier you catch the problem, the easier it is to get over the pain. Very well. Doctor, thank you very much. Thank you.